friends uh, sorry for the delay uh, we had some challenges because sonu right now is in dubai so he needs uh, to get connected to vpn and then try this out so sorry about the delay uh, sonu thank you for taking time out for 1 minute cm and uh, a uh, friend sonu is a solo traveler and uh, he has traveled across 50 countries and uh, he currently lives in dubai uh, he loves to go around and before we get into rapid fire questions to know uh, well about sonu so sonu would you like to talk about yourself and you know what you do and you know what encouraged you to travel so much and so how did it all start yeah sure Uh, well i live in dubai and uh, i've been working here for 5 years mm -hmm. so prior to this i was in india and uh, since i was 18 years uh, things were always a drastic change for me so when i initially started my science studies i always wanted to be a science student i want to be a doctor or something but okay. uh, i applied for my studies abroad and i went it didn't really fit in me but when i traveled i enjoyed the journey going to a university abroad Mm -hmm. later i've been back and i decided maybe i should do something which i really like then i realized my points so my parents were insisting me to study and everyone even if i had an intention to my science but somewhere it changed me i later realized at a very early stage in 18 or 19 years that things are i should what i want then um, that is when i started traveling so my first country was malaysia it was just a 3 hours flight and uh, that is where i started traveling that is where i started learning from and uh, initially after 20 years then i started applying for airlines or travel industry all my jobs until now are uh, based in travel mm -hmm. industry so my first job was uh, working for a call center i mean if you know adlin she was the one who helped me out uh, as she's my sister's pal and uh, she referred us and uh, it was a travel company uh, that i joined it was based in uk so this company has really inspired me a lot uh, they had a lot of uh, holiday destinations that they were selling across europe and uh, uk so when i was selling right. these packages across it always triggered my mind that i should uh, travel spaces it's not just all about selling and it it kept inspiring it kept adding on into my travel list then after 20 years i started working with indigo airlines uh, that is where i got opportunity to yeah. at least travel 10 to 15 countries so while i work most of uh, my travel were traveling on standby with airlines so i used to work with almost i mean i i traveled almost asian countries with indigo airlines then then later i i i felt i should explore more i should move out of india then that is where i decided to move to dubai and it's always mm -hmm. things have been drastic for me you see mr sanka so when i moved in dubai i i didn't get to work for a travel industry or an airline or an airport i got to work mm -hmm. in an engineering company uh, which has no opportunities for me to you know uh, explore my travel uh, opportunities then that is where i did my export i moved to reservations uh, which is sales marketing for atlantis so right now i'm working for one of the most iconic property here in dubai and it gives me a very good opportunity to travel everywhere in middle east europe and asia so when i started working here that is where i was able to add an additional 25 countries to my travel list and travel it was challenging initially because i have to plan my saving after i'm in a broad country i have to take mm -hmm. care of my things but it's always the compromise that i did uh, always i used to compare but like when friends are going out for a party i used to always imagine those money what could i do that while i travel somewhere so that is how i used to really cut on my things and stay on a disciplined plan to travel for other countries initially i did have uh, issues for visas uh, but i have to really work hard i have a complete planning I never gave up. I had a lot of issues as well for visas, but still, uh, Dubai has literally helped me out uh, to build up that opportunity and go around and my workplace as well. So that is where I am today, with almost uh, 51 countries. Wow, super! So, how many girlfriends did you make in this? So we were already on with rapid fire. So I will not be biased, or I will not spare you because you are in formals, you are in office. So. <laughs> So during yeah, travel, how many girlfriends did you make? Uh, honestly, uh, this is not my level of expertise with that, that, in that area. So I've always tried to stay away because this con consistently it uh, will divert me from my ex you know travel experience or I mean my plan of traveling. So most most of the times I never got into this uh, tricks of relationship. I tried once. Uh, it needs a lot of dedication. I think a lot of stuff like that. So. I, I definitely don't think I belong in that area, so I never made uh, any girlfriends or I never dated for long, more than six months. 
So does the response or your answer change if you're in the office or you know you're at home, or is it the same answer? See, everyone gets naughty. Uh, so even if even if I'm at work or if I'm at home, I would have had the same answer. I would definitely get naughty. I, I'm not saying I'm a good boy, but uh, I didn't maintain that relationship or something, nothing more than four or five months because I understand it re- needs a lot of dedication, uh, sacrifice, uh, you attention seeking. So it was really not my choice at this age, at least. Okay. So what is the funniest thing you've done uh, while you were drunk? Well, here or there? Uh, most of the places are uh, actually it was quite official we've been on an office party last year we have mm-hmm. colleagues all around the world working with me i was really high i got drunk very much i started biting people so i bit almost four of my colleagues on their necks and they had literally they got the bandages next next day to work and i don't even remember that i bit them so when when they were at work people started complaining that uh, this is how i was last night and i, I still didn't know that i did it and later they like they banned me for partying with them for next six months <laughs> <laughs> so were you you know did they put a name for you zombie or you know dracula uh, uh i mean my name is i mean indians i mean most of the foreigners they can't uh, spell my name correctly as chakri or chakravarti so from that day they started calling me chucky i'm sure you know chucky this uh, tiny monster so that is how they see me from that day <laughs> Can you come closer to uh, the camera and show us your teeth? Because we, we are still trying to figure out why did you try biting them? I mean, do you have a Dracula teeth or what's up? No, honestly, honestly, I have no idea why it happened, but probably it was excitement. And in doing that, doing that, that time, I think I was some series which inspired me. And I don't know what happened to me on that night. I literally bit four people. <laughs> Thank, thank God. I mean, thanks to your friends because their office colleagues, I, I think they did not complain or you know file a case against you. But you know that, that, that that's happened. really yeah. That, that's yeah, really they, just, they just bought this. They bought this to me. Yeah, they bought this to my attention the next day, and I immediately apologized and I told I was not even aware about this. And from that time, I started having this distancing whenever I go parties. I'm very um. I, I have these distractions and. Uh, I do things which go to a drastic exchange. So most of the time, that is how I self-control myself. Okay, but Chakri, uh, one thing I really appreciate you giving this tip to me. Uh, I, I can take uh, an excuse of getting drunk to bite somebody. So now I have to select, you know, after lockdown, who are the people I'll call them for the first party where I can get small. So thank you for the tip. I, I didn't know if we can also do that. So that that's a good one. So, what what was the worst situation? Actually, uh, this was this came out of nowhere. Actually, <laughs> sorry, the line is cracking up. Yeah, what was the worst situation you were caught up? The worst situation, uh, it was same when I moved mm-hmm. into Dubai. It was in crisis. Uh, things were very hard. Uh, leaving home mm-hmm. uh, having challenges and i can't i can't give a gap in my travel because it's it's like i'm no more active in the platform so i have to manage all mm-hmm. this so i have to manage my family i have to manage my funds i have to manage my travel so the first two years when i moved in here it was really challenging and uh, i didn't even know what i'm working as uh, i didn't have any clarity on life and so a lot of compromises happened here like i used to literally manage everything uh, events events Spending like five or ten dirhams here was a challenge for me. So I came out of it, and I, I now I feel very strong for being here in Dubai and surviving. Okay. So uh, out of all this travel, you know, which airlines did you feel uh, had you know very good uh, air hostess, whether male or female? You you felt that they were, you know, really good, and you know uh, they maintained their standard. Of course, I liked uh, Garuda, Garuda International, uh, when I was flying to Indonesia, Bali. Uh, their hospitality is amazing. The air hostels were all beautiful and they were very welcoming. In fact, there are various airlines I flew across the globe, but uh, most of them have an attitude or most of them are busy doing or most of them pretend to be busy. But uh, when mm-hmm. I flew this airline, I, I was really connected with them. Uh, the way they were helping me out was completely came right. And, you know, it was like, a uh, very personal touch and uh, they were also very pretty looking women and girls so it was amazing i i would definitely appreciate or recommend anyone if they're traveling to asia maybe use garuda international okay 
So what, what is the weirdest thing you've done uh, after checking into any of the resorts or the hotels uh, during your travel? All right. Uh, could you repeat the question again for me, please? What is the weirdest thing you have done in any of the hotels you've stayed across the world? Of course, uh, most of the hotels I've stayed, I would love to stay in the bathrobes. Uh, I, I'm, I'm sure this must be a little disgusting or people might uh, not find it fine, but I love bathrobes. So most of the five star hotels I go across the world, I try to collect, not collect, but literally steal the bathrobes and I like it. So I have a collection of it. <laughs> oh, that's nice. So favorite beaches? Uh, Dubai has the best beaches. Um, so I would definitely recommend if people are here, I would recommend it, them to try the Jumeirah beach. It's amazing. Okay. Have you tried scuba or any of the, uh, you know, risky stunts uh, during your travel? Like scuba, skydiving? Yeah, I mean, no. All right. Uh, I've never done skydiving in Dubai, but when I was in a holiday, I did uh, sailing. So it wasn't maybe not that scary for others, but because I'm really scared of heights. So that was a very big challenge for me. So we have a challenge for you, Chatri. So we want you to uh, overcome that challenge in 2020. Conquer your challenge yeah. for heights. So. Definitely. Okay, so this good. 2020, I wanted to do the skydiving here in Dubai. Yeah. Whom would you like to visit as soon as you come to India? Firstly, I don't want to come to India. But yes, if I would like to come to India, I would definitely go meet my family. But again, I'm really cautious about it. My parents are older. They are So I, I'm, I'm not sure if I travel and it's safe to meet them. Uh, but if I give a chance, maybe I wouldn't meet anyone, but probably I might go somewhere and relax and enjoy myself due to this current situation. Uh, tell us something about your school days uh, where you and you, your friend, did, think, uh, did something, you know, really funny. Oh, we had a lot of uh, funny incidents in schools. Mm, one that triggers my mind is bunking school and uh, not just going someone's house and hanging out, but they used to all bunk. It's, it was a group of us. We used to always bunk schools and uh, not just because we were not allowed to go into someone else's home because parents wouldn't allow us. We should go back to school. Then we had the super idea of bunking the school, going to someone's house backyard, collecting their clothes and wearing them and going to attend a wedding, eat, enjoy the life and come back at the evening uh, once the wedding is done. And we don't know whose wedding is that. It's just an anonymous person. Okay. Who is your best friend uh, whom you would like to take him? I mean, if given an opportunity, would it take him to the next uh, travel destination? Oh, I think I, I do have travel buddies uh, here. But there's one in India. When I was working with Indigo Airlines, we used to really travel a lot together. The reason why I would mm -hmm. choose him is he's really very good at saving money so whenever i used to go abroad with him if we have 100 bucks he his intention is to save all that 90 bucks and just spend 10 bucks but uh, when i go myself i spend all 90 and just carry the rest 10 back so i think he's a very good uh, person to go around with because it really helps me to stay on budget as well as enjoy things uh, whenever i go out with him it makes that you know money doesn't matter anything it's just the fun that we have so i would definitely like to travel back with him Okay. What are the seven things you would carry along with you while you're traveling? Uh, the first thing would be a pillowcase uh, just to rest in the flight. And of course, uh, the toiletries are very important for me. My passport, as usual. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I already covered the toiletries, the passport, and uh, a small cabin bag, uh, ensuring I have my beachwear. And uh, that's all, maybe. Uh, some money and foreign currency of that country and maps uh, in case there's no internet i always carry a uh, hard copies uh, once i arrive in an airport how to how to go in public transfer so i have a lot of maps with me these are the important things i carry great so who's your favorite actor and actress from india i'm not sure about dubai but yeah <laughs> there are many actually uh, all right uh, i think uh, of course it would be priyanka chopra globally and uh, actor would be uh, i barely remember I, I don't know very few heroes 
Uh, Any of the cons? None of the cons. Uh, I think it's actually none of them because I don't find anyone uh, very inspiring personally, but yes, maybe keeping travel in mind, I might go with uh, Prithik because of his Zindagi Na Milega Dubara. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, you know, that that's all from the rapid fire question, but I still have one question, you know, how many pages you still have left on your passport? I finished my first passport before it's expired. I'm on my second passport right now. And uh, I just did four pages in that, four or five. I was, mm -hmm. I was scheduled to travel uh, new countries. I was supposed to go Jordan, then South Africa mm -hmm. next month, but it's all canceled. Or maybe I'm, I'll amend it for future. Thanks, Shakri. That, that finishes the rapid fire questions. And thanks for answering this very spontaneously, very naturally, uh, because that, that will definitely you know, connect a lot of uh, friends, new friends. Uh, so now coming to the main topic, mm -hmm. what would you do to become the one minute CM? All right. If I become the CM, uh, I mean, is that a lot to do or something that I say to people? Yeah. Is it like a suggestion that I tell or it's what do I do for that state? Yeah, you would become one minute CM. So what would you do? What are the areas you would focus right. on? All right. I would focus uh, life to be very simple. I would uh, inform people to, you know, stay, enjoy the present rather than focusing on future. Most of us Indians are into savings. They always think about tomorrow and future. But in my perception, I don't think it's permanent that we live forever. So I would tell encourage families to go on holidays, travel across, live. If it is families, I recommend them to go around, live a nice life for holidays. If it is young youngsters, I would tell them always to go on holidays, live life as if it is temporary. So I would focus more on tourism bit in India or in whichever state I'm assigned. Right. I, I think it's slowly picking up, but you're right. I think. Uh... Uh, mostly the middle class family is more tuned to savings and, you know, they, they say, you know, uh, like Hrithik says, you know, uh, exactly. saving because, for like Yeah, even I watched, exactly, I watched most of our parents, uh, what they do is they save, save for tomorrow. I mean, they just save for the children. And this, uh, the children, when they grow up, it's just that they have savings and they just enjoy it. So why someone else hard earned money uh, get wasted by someone else? It's everyone. So I think whole family should spend it equally and enjoy it rather than investing it. Life is very temporary. We are just here uh, as human beings, as an experience. So why take hard about and think about future, live present. So I, if I'm a CM, I would, I would definitely suggest this to all the people, no matter which class in they are. Good. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks Chakri for taking time out and, you know, from your office time, I'm, I'm sure you'd have been more casual and more bubbly while <laughs> if you were uh, not, at work, but uh, so thank no, you. So, they are fine. It's, it's absolutely. Actually, I should thank you for this opportunity and Adeline and GK, uh, because I never noticed, uh, and this is something really good uh, to recollect things or inspire people or also learn from this. So all these days it was just idle. People were getting bored. I'm sure this would motivate a lot of people. And after COVID, uh, once things relax, get back to normal. I'm sure a lot of uh, lives would change watching all these videos which you are doing. So I would definitely appreciate you, Mr. Uh, Shankar. What you're doing is really inspiring. And most of my friends in Dubai keep asking me since yesterday when I post that beautiful yellow picture of me traveling around. And they keep asking what's happening. So it's uh, your wife has even reached here in Middle East in Dubai. So I'm sure it's going to well across the globe. Everyone come on this platform, share their experience and uh, everyone will definitely be happy and definitely changes everyone life changes everyone after this COVID 19 impact thank you thanks thanks for the nice words uh, so yeah more importantly i made a new friend uh, who's in dubai and i can uh, ping him advisors so yeah i have a new definitely. friend definitely uh, definitely it's it's you your friends anyone coming here in dubai I'm always in for you. Uh, most of the friends who come here, I always help them. I take them around. I show them places and I recommend them the best things. Since you have, I mean, most of them come here for a very limited time. I want them to experience the best of the best. So if you are here or anyone are here, you can always contact me. I'll do my best to exceed your expectations. Great. Thank you, Shakri. Right. Have a good one. Have a great Bye day. Then. Thank you, Mr. Shankar. All right. Yeah. Goodbye now. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. Bye.